Hi, my name is Terry Martin. Today I would like to share with you the humble truth about why I, a mother of five and a grandmother, decided to run for the pageant, a beauty pageant. And the reason for that is because of a tumor. Now I had been sick several years ago and I had other tumors and they're all gone, but this one. I knew I had to do everything possible that I could do to change my life. And like all of us, we think we're not doing so bad. We think our diet is good, we think our exercise is fine. But really, bottom line, my exercise is the only part that I really lacked in. And I knew to get rid of this tumor, I would definitely have to do a workout that got my lymphatic fluid moving. But no matter how hard I tried, it just wasn't enough. And so one day I was talking with my husband and I said, you know, I would have to, I, I would do anything to get rid of this tumor because I've tried. And then I realized now I wouldn't do anything because I didn't do anything. And I had to have a goal that was stronger than, than I was capable of doing. And he said to me, well, why don't you do the beauty pageant? And I looked at him and I said, you know what? That is it. If I did that, I couldn't back down from it. So immediately I signed up to become uh, in the pageant, the, you know, a candidate to push myself beyond my limits. And, and I just knew somehow that I was going to win. And I just would like to tell you a few things about why I thought that. First of all, this gown is one of the reasons. I had started to go to shops and was willing to pay whatever it was that I had to, but someone said, why don't you go to the Salvation Army? Because I saw gowns there. I didn't want to do that, but you know what? I went with my mother and I looked at the rack of gowns. There was nothing there that I saw, and I thought, well, I'll just go give it another look. So I went back, and here was this purple gown, and the bottom of it was all wadded up in rubber bands. And of all things, it's a size 12, I'm a four. And I thought, no, this, is, this isn't going to work. But my mother said, go try it on. Well, when I did, it actually fit like a glove. It didn't have to be taken in, nothing. The most uncanny things just kept happening when it had anything to do with the pageant. But the one thing that did not happen is it, within the, uh, the month that I had time to prepare, the lump didn't leave. And this is what I say, God's sense of humor. The reason that I won, and I really feel that I won this pageant, because it would move me to have to go on to nationals. Nationals is going to be in New Jersey in July on the 24th. And if I don't do nationals, I have to relinquish my title for Pennsylvania and give back all the gifts. And, and the, one of the reasons I really needed to win is for a platform. The platform is to get out and to be able to talk to people like you, anyone listening. And please share this video with someone else if you like what you hear. So I knew that the funny part of it was, is this was going to be something that I could not talk myself out of. I put myself out there, put my neck on the line, and what I'm saying to anyone who'd ever think of doing something like this, that it's bizarre, well, if you don't do something bizarre sometimes, you won't get to that next step. Because if you could have all along, you would have. And what they're saying right now even about cancer or any other sickness, but they're saying almost one out of every two people are going to hear news they don't want to hear. Now, you know, that didn't set right with me in any situations that I thought about medical, and I'm not giving medical advice here, but what I'm saying is I started reading all about how to take care of your body, and I realized our bodies are like a car. If you don't give it the right fuel, the right nutrition, uh, you know, like a car, the right fuel. If you put diesel in a premium car, it's not going to work. Well, that's the way that our food system is out there. And if you just take everyone else's word for it, that you don't have to take care of yourself, that there's going to be a pill, there's going to be an operation. Well, I can tell you, since I've changed my life, my blood work is great. My eyesight even got better than it was. And my body just reacted to finally getting the food that it loved, the proper nutrition. And where years ago when I was younger, I almost even lost a lot of my dreams because I didn't feel good enough to even get up 
every day and do the things that I needed to do, but everyone told me that it was age and that get used to it. Well, you know, that's not true. It is if you think it though, like as a man think that saying. Now, what I want to do is get my word out to people that while I was sick, I did write a book and it's called Beyond Makeup. And it's just that, it's Beyond Makeup. The first part of the book is about how to become the best you can be because there is a science to it. And the science to our body is the rest of the book. And everything in there is easy, step by step, easy to follow. But what I found out with, even with the people that have purchased the book, they want more. So I do have makeup and more classes. I do how, have, have, how to make a change. So all you need to go to is www.madericosmetics.com and you can find out where the classes are going to be held. I'm also available for organizations to speak, in any businesses, and I'm out there to show America we need to get our backbone back, and it just doesn't mean business people, it doesn't mean that, uh, you know, even when you think of politics, and we're all ready uh, in our society to beat everyone else up for what's really happening in our world, but what's happening within our own bodies, in our own homes, is we're losing our strength and we were meant to live long and strong and taking care of yourself is not a luxury it's a necessity because we are to live long and strong and that makes us have a healthy healthy and happy life so please keep in touch with me you can go to Terry T-E-R-R-Y at Madari Cosmetics or Facebook me stick with me as I'm going through this challenge Thank you for listening.